So nine months ago, I posted what is to date my most popular video, which is wood shopping at the Dollar Tree. Uh, well, I did it again. I went to the Dollar Tree and I got 10 new items. Um, actually, I've collected these items over the last couple months. And uh, the only difference is now after nine months, it's not the dollar store, it's the dollar 25 store, or as people in the comments of the previous video stated, the five quarter store. So behind me, are 10 things that I got at the five quarter store and I'm gonna share them with you. I'm gonna let you know what I got and um, how I use them. Now, real quick, um, every dollar store, some they can be different from place to place. Uh, when I get stuff at the dollar store, specifically for this video, I try to get things that are in the sections where things kind of never change. Health and beauty, crafting, stuff like that. Basically staying away from the Christmas section or anything that's a special buy. All right, so since I just mentioned health and beauty, let's start there. Now, if you read the comments on the previous dollar store video, you would have saw this being mentioned a few times, Emery boards. Um, you get uh, like 20 of them for a dollar. And what I use them for is, especially with my CNC machine, occasionally I have places where I just can't get my little, my fat nose prickers in there. So uh, these work fantastic to get in there. And I use these a lot for tabs. So when I use my CNC machine, you know, you have little tabs and there's a little bit of a bump in there and you want to go ahead and uh, file that down. So these are used pretty much anytime I use the CNC machine on small projects where I can't use uh, sandpaper or even if it's too small for a chisel or you just don't want to bust out a chisel for something that takes about five seconds. All right. So uh, number two, dowels. Now I actually did the math on this because that's the kind of nerd that I am. Um, each of these dowels are six inches. You get 15 of them. That's 90 inches. Um, I compared the diameter, which is about a quarter of an inch, to the diameter at Lowe's, and it is about 25 cents cheaper than the Lowe's dowel. So this actually does save you money. Now, this could be used for multiple ways. Anyone who's watched my channel knows I love using dowels. I use them in picture frames. I use them in my cabinets. Um, I use them in anything where if I had a domino joiner, I would use it. Or if I just want to add some strength, um, I'm going to show you a picture of a uh, mantle that I made. And you, could, you can't see it because it's painted, but I did use dowels in that as well uh, because it was just easier to clean up. I didn't have to putty when it came to screws, and I wanted them to be able to, if they ever felt like breaking down all of the paint and going with the natural wood look underneath, they could do so. So, huge fan of dowels. Now, what I've been using them for a lot is putting sandpaper on the edges taking a knife and just scoring it this way so it makes a rudimentary chuck and then I put it into my drill and then I use it as a spindle sander. Now number three craft clamps actually came to be because I was getting tired of my fingers getting all sticky when I'm making these. So I got them specifically because they fit perfectly around this. I could put all six of them on here while it dries and then I don't have to worry about getting accelerator and super glue on my fingers. All right, the other reason why I use those is because I work in my shop alone and I've been making a lot of marquee letters for a up and coming business and those marquee letters came with plans and those plans are important. They tell me angles, they tell me where each peach goes. In a small shop, especially when every bit of space is dedicated to some kind of tool or storage or something like that, finding a place to put your plans without losing them is kind of a pain. Those craft cl clips come in handy. I even have it on my tripod and it has my script on it. Now, number four is another one that was mentioned quite often in the comment section of the previous video, and that is foam brushes. Um, these are fantastic. They come in all different sizes, and every single Dollar Tree I've ever been in has these in the craft section. Sometimes you need a utility knife in your shop, but sometimes when you need the utility knife, the spaces are too big for the standard sizes. Number five on the five quarter store list is a X-Acto knife or a utility knife, some people still call it, or a craft knife. Now the one that I get comes with a set of six different blades. Um, I haven't used every blade yet, 
most of the time I'm using this blade up here for the inside of really small spaces. And then this blade right here when I'm cutting um, cards or shims or anything to fit in a specific space where I need to shim it up. Now, number six is my absolute favorite. This is the best dollar twenty-five I have ever spent inside my shop. Now, I use the sifter mainly for two reasons. One, if uh, something gets sucked into my shop vac and I need to be able to sift through all the sawdust to find it because um, I can't find it with, let's say, a magnet or something like that, I can use the sifter. But the main reason I do it is because sawdust is valuable, especially if you're using hardwoods and you want to be able to take that exact same sawdust and then mix it with uh, glue to patch up holes and things like that. So if I were to sweep up everything off the floor and then I were to go ahead and say put it on a plastic big black bag then I can sift it and then I can save all the really good sawdust that I could use for that and put it into one of my plastic containers that I did get from you guessed it the dollar store. Actually I spoke too soon there's actually a third reason that I use the sifter a lot in the shop. And this brings me to number seven, which are coffee filters. You can get these for a buck 25 and get a whole bunch of them. The reason why you would wanna use coffee filters in your shop is basically for the same reason you would use it for any other thing, which is the filter. So let's say you have your, um, your sprayer here and you're gonna be putting some uh, lacquer or anything in there. In my shop, since I have dust everywhere, I always wanna strain it. So now one way you could do it is you could put this here like this. The problem is that it might fall in um, or anything like that. So what I do is I use the sifter and then I put it in the sifter and then that way I could put the sifter right there and I don't have to worry about it falling in or falling over and I don't and I only need one hand to hold it. So this is a fantastic way to, and it also works the other way around. If you're done and you want to be able to use it again, you could sift it through. So get some of these. Number eight, funnels. And I get as many different sizes as I can get. Now, beyond the typical stuff, which is funneling, and don't forget with these two, you could also put your coffee filter in there so you can strain anything that you're funneling. So have a different size funnels. Um, they're good for powders if you're going to be pouring epoxy they're good for liquids um, anything like that one of the main reasons i use uh, uh, these in the shop is really for aesthetics and i'll show you what i mean so let's say i have some kind of sign it doesn't matter what but for whatever reason i want to go ahead and round off the edges here now a lot of times these are going to be by feel how does it look so the reason why I buy funnels every time I go there, as long as I don't already have the sizes, is because if you line these up in the corner, probably better right here, then you could just pick which one you like best, draw it on there, and then now I have it marked. So I know as long as the edge of the board touches the edge of the wood and I trace it, I'm gonna have the exact same edge or rounded edge on all four corners. So, and for a dollar, they're multifunctional. It's always good to have tools that do multiple things. Number nine, skewers. Now, if you go back to the first video and look in the comments, someone mentioned using these for tiny dowels. So that's why I got them. I figure, you know, if I just have, if I want it for lining up purposes, or if it's a small thing and just that extra glue surface is gonna make it that much stronger, why not? They're inexpensive. But what I ended up using them for mostly is for something I do quite often because I do make mistakes. So let me show you what that is. So let's say, I went ahead and tried to drill a hole into this piece of wood. And for some reason, it's either too close to the end or I forgot about an offset. So pre-drilling this hole here is a mistake, but I don't want to go this way or this way with it because this is, if this is a piece of maple, I don't want to have to, I had it here for a reason. It's either going to be covered up or I'm going to plug it and I just don't want to have to plug a bunch of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use one of these skewers. For this, I actually like to start off with my thin, and sometimes that's all you need. You just pour it in there, 
There it is, it's covered the hole. Go like that. And then of course we'll wait the prerequisite 20 seconds. Then I just grab this, cut it off. Now, what that allows me to do is move it over just a little bit that I need to move it over. without it sliding. Now, one of the issues that I have in the shop, and this brings me to number 10, is places where I can glue. So in the previous video, once again in the comments section, someone recommended they get their placemats from there because they're plastic, things don't stick, and you can bend it and see it's already coming up here. So I did a little bit of science experiment. I put wood glue and let it sit for a couple days, and then I put CA glue and let it sit for a couple days. The wood glue, if you bend it, it comes right up. So gluing on this, fantastic. However, when it comes to the CA glue, it's not quite the same. In fact, earlier when I tried to take it off, it cut my finger. So <laughs> um, wood glue, it works fantastic. CA glue, it does not. But that makes sense because CA glue is supposed to be able to attach to plastic. So um, at $1.25 a piece, I'm going to get about nine more. So I have 10 total. And then that way I can cover my floor. I can cover the top of my benches with it. Worst case scenario, I can cover my table saw with it if I need to use my uh, table saw as a clamping area. So fantastic, fantastic way to be able to glue stuff up. Uh, now, going back to the previous video in the comments section, everyone recommended these. So I started buying them and trust me, they will come in handy. This is Loctite. So it's a good brand. It's single use, one time epoxy and it's self mixing. Twist that off. You're gonna take this, slide it in, and twist it, and make sure that everything's lined up. Then you just grab it like this, and you squeeze. And then, now you're just gonna wait five minutes, and it is good to go. All right, so whether you're a beginner or been doing this a long time, whether this is just a hobby or it's your business, we're all happy saving money. Now, the other thing you need to keep in mind is time is money. So here are two videos that will help you save time in your shop and save some money.